couple drinks, that's the motherfucking recipe. Czyli widać mój kanał z kolejnym, tylko z The Book of Only Tales 2 Dzisiaj kontynuujemy miejscu <coughs> Miejscu, z którym skończyliśmy <coughs> Piękny wstęp Po prostu Sprawdziłem trochę na YouTubie um, Co mam tu robić i inne i teraz powinniśmy iść do naszego pana tarczownika. Mr. Shield Hand. Do Roya. Jestem Chambeczka. Mam barrel of Bill's brandy. Excellent. Then go down to the lower town and order a barrel and we'll see what happens. You mean I no longer need a special permit? Correct. You're now on an official mission for the town guard. To było tak łatwe. Idziemy. Spotkamy z tym szczurkiem, jak on z Remi. Remi to jest no, ten szczurek z tego, z Ratatuj. Ten, nie, ten brat tej głównego. Ten gruby. Wychodek. Remi If I didn't know who the outhouse belonged to, I'd find that a tad strange. I bet you could pick up the key from Bill for a small fee. Może. I'm sure Shield Hand won't let me back into the upper town until I have proof of Bill's bootlegging. I'm sure. Just over a year ago, when I stood in front of this gate for the first time, Mr. Shield Hand wouldn't let me into the upper town to see the Archmage. I had to earn the right to an audience by becoming a mage. I've never understood this strange separation between the upper and the lower town. The upper town is like a town within the town, with its own walls and private gates. And people from the lower town work up there, but at night they return to the lower town because they can't afford the upper town rents. My one apple a day wouldn't get me far up there either. Luckily, I can live in the school for free. Bill Storm. During the day, he sells stuff from the upper town that you can't normally get down here. Ah. Przecież miał to na dole przy. Most traders and all the nearby farmers sell goods to the lower town's big market. But Bill claimed this spot here, as it's the only place he can sneak in the upper town contraband using his crane. Ah, no. Teraz wiadomo. Normally, the town wakes at the crack of dawn. Then Bill is on the job. Selling his goods until it gets dark. He works hard, but whether he'll open so early tomorrow morning, I just don't know. The barricade may keep most of his customers away. Huh? As well, must I get it? Wow. Hmm. A wooden box full of old tools. Some sort of metal clamps, a hammer, some wire. Probably Bill uses the stuff to maintain his stand. I'll take the hammer. Słodziej. Ludzie, jakieś są zmęczone. Dzisiaj spałem strasznie krótko. Tak jak na vlogu mówiłem. Bill! Pst! Bill! Who's there? And what do you want? Na co się Gaia Brasher chce zostać piratem? Jest on to drżony, co pozwolić w mojej łapówce. To ja wiele mój chcę kocyka. Uh, my name is Guybrush and I want to be a pirate. Uh, hello? I said... Yes, I heard you. I just can't believe you tried that old gag. <laughs> so? Uh, sorry. Who are you and what do you want? It's... It's me! Mr. Shieldhand. I want to talk to you about my bribe. Or lack of, to be precise. Why do you call yourself Mr. Shieldhand? <laughs> Because I am... Anton! Anton Shieldhand is my name. And I... 
Want a bribe? <laughs> Peachy, is that you? It's bloody dark down there. <laughs> the fuck? Um, yes, it's me, Peachy. Peachy. Why are you putting on a funny voice all of a sudden? I don't know. Um, <laughs> you really are a crazy dog. So what can I do for my favourite errand boy? Ah, Peachy says the mother's car. I need a good. barrel of brandy for the inn. No problem. What's the password? Ah, oh, so okay. <laughs> Just that password? Well. Do you even know the password? Uh, of course, but that's hardly the point. Should I buy my illegal goods from just anyone? All right then. The password is marmalade. Oh my password. The password is marmalade. No, it's not. I just wanted to wind you up. <laughs> Is it fluffy bunnies? What? No. Construct additional pylons? Are you just guessing? No. Um, no? What's the password? What the password? What password? The secret password. I can't just offer illegal goods to anyone, uh, especially as I don't have any. Oh, that password. All right. The password is... My dick. My back. Uh, I, I don't know the password. Why not? Aren't you Petey? Step into the light. No. Yes, I am. But I forgot the password. Ha! <laughs> That's just like you. Ask in the inn. The owner knows it. Fine. Ah. I should take a chunk of my two bits at a wash and wash it so often. Tot in bar. I can't. Oh, they probably took the very small yet tiny. The entrances to the underground world of the rats. No. Rats represent one of the town's largest population groups, but many don't think of them as real people, and they don't have many rights. <laughs> Remy and the Archmage have been trying no, to change that for a long time. But some think that the rats entered the town illegally and consider them vermin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Seastone has grown quite organically over the centuries. There are doors behind which there are only walls, staircases that lead to nowhere. Maybe a house was supposed to go here, but the builder changed his mind. Nobody knows. When Seastone was almost a ghost town at the end of the war, no. the rats were unable to find enough food. I helped them. We've been best friends ever since. So but since Remy became head of intelligence, here. I don't see him as often as I used to. So he's doing a good job. Maybe. At the moment, more people live outside the town than inside it. Most of them are refugees. Gee, there were okay. days when the wagons were lined up nose back to bumper, and the road was full of them as far as the eye could see. Oh, this cart's been here a long time. Strange it wasn't used for either the temporary tent city or the barricades. Oh, the inn used to be here on the right, and on the left was Master Mark's no, house. After the war, so many people came to the town that we needed a larger inn. Master Marcus was happy to sell his old maid school. Change is good, he told me. Aha! What I want to buy this school, isn't it? Tutaj pamiętam, tutaj jest ostraga. Tutaj była ta droga. I tu była ta. Czy tutaj stał ten kupiec? Bill stał. Tutaj albo tutaj coś takiego. Pani Protesters took everything they could find and piled it up to make a huge wall. No one is getting through without a troll. To przyjdą z trollem. Niech będzie trzeba. A ty, żeby rozmawiać z kimś? This looks like a hatch. Hello? Aloha. Are you talking to the enemy? Okay. Who are you? My name is... If Chef. you tell an agent of the government our real names, you'll endanger the entire organization. Okay. What do you want to call us? Hmm. My name is Joe and... No, Paul. Next to me is, um, J-Stop. Your name is Paul? You're a woman. Gender is just one of the fictions indoctrinated by the patriarchal oh, society. Gosh. Oh, 
Oh, really? I didn't know that. <sighs> what are you protesting about then? We're protesting against exploitation, against discrimination, against poverty, and against the destruction of the environment. Wow, those are all important issues. What do you plan on doing? Uh, we're already doing something. We are demanding that things change. We've made a petition. And we're putting together a list of demands. Okay. We're still working on the wording. Problems with the neutrality guidelines. Okay. How far have you got? Dear brothers, stroke, sisters in arms, other forms of resistance are available. Fellow countrymen, country women, country transsexuals, country gender nonconformists. What the fuck? Um, getting back to the whole making a change thing. If you want to make a difference, you can write like on a piece of paper and pass it through the hatch. Then everyone will know you support our cause. No. I talked to a prisoner in the upper town. He's one of yours, isn't he? A victim of the state's power. Our first martyr. He's martyr. not dead yet. Nice and if he got the cake, he'll be back with us soon. Cake? Ah. Uh. If you're for justice and change, you'll probably be voting for Archmage Alistair, right? The election's a joke. One corrupt politician replacing another. And behind the scenes, it's always the same people pulling the strings. That may be true of the council leader, but the Archmage... Big man has got them eating out their hands. Exactly. The magic industrial multinational that was responsible for the war. So you're entering your own candidate? That's pure daft. There's no point. We're doing the only thing that will lead to success. We're protesting. Okay. Maybe I can pass on some of your demands this to the Archmage and we can see what can be done. We demand that no one in Aventasia should ever be poorer than average. Isn't that mathematically impossible? Not at all. If every resident got exactly the same amount of gold, then no one is poorer than the average. Hmm. But if everyone gets the same amount of gold without having to do anything for it, why would anyone bother to earn the gold in the first place? Only someone who belongs to the rich elite could ask something like that. Okay. Did you build the barricade? Aye, that's right. Do you like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. But it kind of blocks the whole street, doesn't it? We're gonna dry you lot out till you give us what we want. But the upper town is supplied by airships. We won't move <laughs> oh, yeah, until that's... you stand starving and freezing before us. But we've got plenty of food. And if my rabbit sheep didn't no, always take my bed, I wouldn't freeze either. I told you it doesn't work like that. <laughs> we are protesting here, and there's nothing you can do about it. I thought I were protesting too. Everything all right in the lower town? Couldn't be better. The fire of protest is stoking up hell. People are being drawn closer together by a common noble goal. Okay. And because of a lack of space. <laughs> we why did you set up the barricade here and not at the gate? That would have given you loads of extra space. And the inn would have been on our side too. Our barricade is more visible this way. The elite should quake at the sight of our resolve. I don't think they're doing that. You're clearly trying to drive a wedge between us, agent. See? The fat cats are trying to sabotage us. They are afraid. That's a good sign. Ah, uh, okay. I need clay to mould something. There's lots of it just outside the town. Could you please let me through? Aye. That would really suit you, wouldn't it? Uh, yes. But we're not going to let you through. Could you maybe pass me a lump of clay through the barricade, then? What do we get in return? Are you doing deals with the enemy? We don't make deals with dirty capitalists. That's more like it. Okay. Oh. I don't want the clay for myself. I want to use it to support your cause. How's that? I'd like to make little balls of clay and throw them through shop windows in the upper town. 
Why don't you just use stones? Nie ma to. Because I could carve messages and demands into the clay before firing it. Mm, I don't know. Anonymous vandalism is tried and tested. Okay. Okay then. Truth be told, I need the clay for something else. Oh? Oh? Well, uh, I'm, uh, I'm an artist and I could build a sculpture in the upper town depicting your heroic protest. Finally, someone who thinks for themselves. A grand statue that captures for eternity the protests of the simple people in a monumental way. That's exactly what we need. Uh? Show us the construction plans and some references. If we're satisfied, then you can produce a model. If we achieve a unanimous decision on the model at the general meeting, we'll supply you with the clay. Um, great. But first I need a little bit of clay for something else. Oh, for what? If you give me just a few handfuls of clay, I could really improve the barricade. Really? Sure. I can smear the clay between the boards from here and the sunlight would bake it hard as rock. Oh, I think that sounds pretty good. The barricade is stable enough already. The spirit of friendship built it and the chains of suppression are holding it together. Uh. But there are holes everywhere here which need to be sealed. Magic could seep through the little gaps or, or gas or something like that. Hmm. Perhaps you're right, but I still don't trust you. How to be going? May the protest never end. Someone has put a bucket of water next to the fire pit. Security isn't normally a priority in Seastone, but with all these wooden houses, I'm glad to see an exception. The water in the bucket's frozen to ice. The water in the Okay. Usually, paper. Usually, citizens and visitors to the inn warm up by the fireplace on cold nights. Paper, wood, everything's here except for someone looking to warm up. Okay. What can I do for you? What? I'm going to smoke out. I might have. And. No, no. Well, it is really pretty tasty. And you really is Nathan. Actually, my own bed tonight. So you go. Yeah, the thing who is intelligent, the thing who is good. Who is the one who is intelligent, the one who is good. Wow, a two-headed ogre. I've heard of those. I never thought I'd actually ever see one of those in real life, or smell it. So, Hello. Ha ha ha! Little mini man. Ah, ten will go be ten will more. That's a guess. Blouty, yeah, come. Welcome, noble sir. Blouty. How can we help? From Hinton. You're a two-headed ogre, right? Well, I am an ogre. And me too. So, you two are ogres. My name is Zlot. No, Zlot. Age, philosopher. Tell you what I'm wondering. I'm going to win. That is Blout, my brother. He is me, Basha. No, I see. He's bashing up. My name is Zlot. I'm going to try to shoot that kid with a cliff. I'm going to try to hit him with a stone. Yeah, because after that, Blout will try to beat him to the ground. Do you own the inn? I bought it. Blout is just my employee. Blout bought two. Yes, but then you lost your half at poker. Now it all belongs to me. Blout not give you his half. Blout best laugh if he tried to take away. Okay. If you touch me, I'll have you thrown in jail. <laughs> it's tough to see. I have heard that you buy your alcohol from Bill. We don't have much choice. He's the only trader who'll sell us alcohol. Expensive. Okay. You're right there. The prices are unashamedly high. Seastone is a big town with lots of merchants. Why is Bill the only one selling alcohol? Well, Since the, the town was virtually besieged with refugees, 
There's been no way for the farmers and traders from the surrounding areas to get through with the ox cars. Right. And Bill gets his supplies by air. Just the same, there's still more than one merchant in the upper town, isn't there? Of course. Bill trades alcohol, another trades in lamp oil, the next one in mana potions. That way, they avoid competition and set any Aha. price they want. I smashed them all! We are upset about it. Okay. Would you perhaps be interested in a barrel of brandy? I'm sure that Bill would deliver today. No, thank you. We still have stock, and we have much fewer guests since the barricade was erected. But I need a password. The password for Bill's crane papers? If you were one of his trustworthy customers, you'd know it. Proszę. How do we try and bring down Bill and his exorbitant prices? Hmm. What are you thinking of? Bashim? Uh, let's that? just say I could put the long arm of the law onto him. Shield hand? <laughs> Tin man. I don't know. Oh, the plan is absolutely Anton proof. We're all set. Anton proof. I just need Bill's password and bam, we have him by his muttony legs. Hmm. And it won't be traced back to us? Yeah. I really don't want to be paying even more for our alcohol in the Nie future. It's a secret COVID operation shrouded in secrecy. Shrouded in secrecy. Hmm. He has earned it. Oh, all right then. The password is gold won't make you happy. Really? Here, a bag of silver for the brandy. It will be worth it if it scuppers business for Bill and his band of ne'er do wells. Band? Nice. Hmm. If you will have one or two votes in the letter. <laughs> one would think that as we have two voices, we should also have two votes. Unfortunately, the town council sees things differently. Okay. And who do you want to vote for? Archmage Alistair, of course. Oh, thank you. Council Mrs. Van Buren. Morda. Little woman says how it is. Blout likes it when things are uncomplicated. Tax down. More work for all. See stone number one. But you don't buy it. I'd also prefer it if our problems were solved quicker. But Van Buren stands for things staying as they are or regressing. Neither has ever helped. Did someone forget that jacket on the chair over there? Oh, it belongs to a young guest. He, well, got into a fight with Mr. Shieldhand. Hooligan! Lock up immediately! What happened? He was quietly drinking his beer. Shield Hand came in, recognized him as one of the protesters, and wanted to search him. No. The young man refused, said he hadn't done anything wrong, and wouldn't let anyone search him without reason. Drenched in a lockdown. <laughs> and the jacket? It's been hanging there ever since. We're keeping it as a deposit until he's paid for his beer. If you're a mage, Loth, do you know how to build golems? I've never tried. You have. Tried long time to build golems. Just too stupid. That's completely untrue. That was just playing around. So, I want to build a golem and I know the right incantation. Can you help me build one? I... no. I don't want anything to do with it. Weber. Yes? What are you whispering about? I don't like whispering behind my back. Sloth always eaves, What the fuck? Do you and Blout keep many secrets from each other? Not particularly. I just don't like it when Blout fiddles about behind my back. It usually ends in catastrophe. This is Blout. He was going to juggle with kitchen knives this afternoon. I noticed just in time. Would have worked. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. And they are my fingers too. Sloth 
tell Blautoff Zlavo was annoyed. With good reason. The pub, all this work, and on top of all that, I have to play babysitter. <laughs> I lost track of time with all that ranting, and now I've missed the bakery. All your fault, Blout. No, I see. I go there myself. Which bakery do you usually go to? I like the one up by the guardhouse myself. Oh, they have those wonderful chocolates. I treat myself to one or two every night. <laughs> you see, love got a fact. First of all, that's not true. And secondly, it's flab born of frustration yes. because <laughs> I have to put up with you. But so much and take care, you two. One, both. So long. Bye. <laughs> he blowed. Bye. Da prav se dopela mašna da gra na RPG. No. I thought Master Marcus had outgrown his love of fantasy worlds, but now this live role play. I'm worried about him. Eventually he might spend all of his time in his fantasy role play world of bicycles, tax returns, microwaves and branded soft drinks and forget the real world entirely. Thank you. Ta head from the old inn looks good there too. I must say that overall I really like this pub. I hope that in a few days I can celebrate the election victory here with Bremi and the Archmage. Seastone, the town that never sleeps. This postcard was clearly sent before the war. Even the Mage School Tower is in its proper place. I can't enter the upper town, the gate's locked. Czaj, czy co? Ja mogę się teleportować, tak? No, szkodźcie, czekajcie. Ale to jest dobre! Czy mogę tak przejść do innego miasta? Nie, szkoda, ale fajne takie tele teleportacje. A walcz wam? Hehehe. <śmiech> Myślałem. Tylko dla wszelkich palców powiem. Zaraz pójdziemy w Bieloszka. Jesteśmy w Piti. It says license in law at the top. Rules for different drinking games, maybe. Girponga. Article 1, paragraph 1. Drink with sense. If sense is not available, drink without. And here, Article 6, paragraph 5. The feeding of mugwais after midnight is expressly forbidden. That makes sense. Article 14, paragraph 2. The host is not required to serve vampires. This seems to be a long list of rules that apply to inns and their guests. How practical. This way you can check at any time to ensure that any freewheeling party still conform to local ordinances. Ah. That's one less worry. Super. There are a whole bunch of articles. But director block. Headmaster block seems to be counting gold. Lots of gold. I wonder where he got it. How value bank? Pay the dwarf. Hey, Hello, Headmaster Blot. Weather vane. Haven't you got things to attend to at school? Some, some came out of the... I'm sort of still on the job. I'm, I'm just getting some tools from the town. Fine. I have to admit that your performance today did not disappoint me. Really? I didn't expect anything. Thus, I was neither surprised nor disappointed that your results do not look good when compared to those of a qualified specialist. <sighs> I think that you're unfairly giving me difficult tasks just so I can fail at them, and then you have an excuse to get rid of me. Oh, I could get rid of you with very simple tasks, Weathervane. It's not your fault. You shouldn't have been put in a position in which you are confronted with tasks that are beyond your schooling and your abilities. Okay. What are you doing there, if I might ask? Surely you can't earn that much gold as a school headmaster, right? Of course not. The gold is for the council leader's election campaign. I'm her party treasurer. Some people want the council leader to win the election very badly. Of course. 
They see their donation as an investment in the future, and they know how to make a difference. Have to be going. Okay. I'll be expecting you tomorrow after the opening ceremony, so uh, we can talk about your. Very well. My golem and I are going to show you. Yes, segments from the golem. I've had so much to do in school. I haven't been here since the reopening. It turned out well, even if it is a little bit weird. Like the bartender. Z. The jacket belongs to a protester. It has several patches and a badge pinned on the front. Vision. No one noticed. The pin that was attached to X's jacket shows a black fist on a red background. Okay. What are you tired? I think the election campaign and the current situation in the town are really taking their toll on him. Oh, Hello, Remy. If it isn't the magic school's new star professor, how was your first day, Riva? Ah, perfect, my nigga. Now you put it. Please don't ask. But I am asking. You are my friend, and you look far from happy. What's wrong? That master block is very mean to me. He gives me loads of difficult tasks. All of which you've solved, knowing you. Yes, but then he gives me new tasks. They're even more difficult. And even if I work through the night, I still couldn't finish them all. No one could. Interesting and curious. If he wanted to represent you as the Archmage's bad choice, then he wouldn't have given you exercises that are clearly impossible. People would realize what kind of game was being played and the trick would backfire. Did you notice anything else? Yes. I surprised Headmaster Block in the staff room as he was rummaging through a desk drawer. But he was startled when I spoke to him, like I caught him doing something. He didn't want you to see him fiddling around in his own desk drawer. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? At first there was the unsolvable exercises, and now the desk drawer. Something's not right. Yes. That's what I think too. Uh, you don't look all this that is happy Tough day. Tough week. I'm worried about the Archmage's safety. The situation in the town is explosive. Explosive. He was on the street while checking up on a field hospital down there. Rico to us. Some wound up I'm worried about the one assailant who has enough brains, resources, and volition. Someone like Headmaster Blocks. Hard to imagine, but it can't be ruled out. We need more information. Okay. The council leader was standing up by the new lottery drum, dictating tomorrow's edition of the Lookout to a reporter. She has the lookout under her thumb. She's a horrible piece of work. Ambitious, stubborn, and unscrupulous. A dangerous combination. Comes from a humble background, but got her feet under old Van Buren's table. Tried to persuade him to do all sorts of new business deals and start a career in politics. Many say he died so young because he finally wanted to be left in peace. <laughs> How did she end up as the Archmage's most promising challenger? The Archmage doesn't want the most important posts in government to go automatically to the richest citizens anymore, but rather to the most competent people, chosen by the people. And of course the nobility and the merchants don't like that one bit. They were seething when they found out about it, but there was nothing they could do to start with. The Archmage was too popular, untouchable. Uh, untouchable. Then, along came Sibyl Van Buren, and she had a plan. The election was to be approved and set for one year's time. One year in which she put up obstacles in the Archmage's way and sabotaged his politics in any way she could. Her only aim was to make him look bad. Hmm. By the gods, how I'd loathe it if she succeeded. Ha, huh, let's go to. But we, we will win the election, right? The Archmage, I mean. Van Buren has used all her resources. They're powerful, are rich friends with important posts at the Seastone Lookout. It's the only newspaper left in town. Simple slogans, simple solutions, patriotism and resentment. She tells the people what they want to hear. And yet, the Archmage will win the election. Every mm, vote the council leader and the cronish is a vote too many. But stupidity amongst the voters had not prevailed yet. Check out. Why doesn't the Archmage defend himself more aggressively against the council leader? Why doesn't he just tell everyone about her scheming? He wants as many people as possible to take part in solving our problems. 
He doesn't want there to be two sides at each other's throats. But I don't know if it will work. People are starting to accept the conditions. They blame everyone and everything, and they don't even try to change anything anymore. I asked the Archmage about it. You know what he said? He's comfortable having things stay as they are. That's why many favor it. Progress requires effort. What kind of world would it be if there was glaring injustice and everyone put up with it just because change takes too much effort? But hey, I'm just a rat. Huh? What do I know? So what do we do now? Keep an eye on Headmaster Bob. Show near the elections. A supporter of the council leader behaving suspiciously in the vicinity of the Archmage. No, too risky. We can't wait. So, you're gonna have a look for yourself? Poof, I'd like to, but perhaps that's precisely their plan. An officially unofficial employee of the Archmage sniffing about in the office of one of his political opponents. Wouldn't be good if word got out. A first-rate scandal. But what about a teacher looking for a form in the staff room? A teacher who is in the school because the headmaster has given him tasks to be done. <laughs> Normally, I would try to discourage you, but the Archmage is visiting the school tomorrow. If his opponents are planning something, we have to expose them tonight. I'll do it. I'll have a look around and get back to you if I discover anything. All right, but be careful, Wilbur. Okay. Archmage Alistair gave me a magic slate. Hmm, that's just like him. He likes magical playthings. That's not all. The slate advised me to build a golem to help me with my work. A golem? They're very strong, so it could help me with a lot of my work. Yes, but I was thinking of something else. Think about it. We agree the Archmage is the most powerful living wizard. Of course. No one could touch a hair on his head with a magical attack. But brute force, a stone to the head, a knife in the no, 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 That could be a possibility. But now imagine that he had a bodyguard, a big chap. Hard as stone. <laughs> the caretaker troll? He's very trying. You sure wouldn't want to have him around the whole day. I'm not talking about a troll, dummy. I'm talking about a golem. Ah. Golems are even stronger than trolls. The best of all, golems are absolutely loyal. They These holes ain't yeah, 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 yeah. And if I'm able to defend the archmage with its life, then that's exactly what it'll do, and no one would get past it. That sounds fantastic. Can you manage that? Building a golem and bringing it to life? Ah. I'll sure try, at any rate. I'll get it to complete the headmaster's stupid tasks first, and then guard the archmage. The headmaster and the council leader have come up against the wrong gnome. Then let's not waste any time. I'll build a golem bodyguard for the Archmage and have a look around the headmaster's office. Good idea. And let me know as soon as you find anything peculiar. No heroics, Wilbur Weathervane. I'll be careful. I'll go back underground. I want to find out about the dark magic the Archmage has been sensing for days. Good luck. Thank you. you and Van Buren will not succeed with your plan. You may have great and powerful friends, but the Archmage has small and cleverer ones. You're right, my friend. It's not good. Oh, my proud is love. Blah, blah, blah. That's that terrible boy. Pretty late for a little guy like him. Um, young guy. Hey! Out to make fun of me, are you? You're probably upset after I proved that I know more about magic than you thought at school this morning. What? I... What are you talking about, Master Weathervane? So... You were pretty cheeky at school this morning. Which school? There you go again, trying to make fun of me. But Master Weathervane, I'd never... This morning in the maid school, you were trying to make me feel uncomfortable and look so in front of the, the, the maid school? In the upper town? I'm not even allowed there. 
I wasn't born in Seastone, and I'm certainly not important enough to enter the Upper Town without a good reason. You mean to tell me you weren't in my class this morning? In your class? To become a wizard? That would be so cool! I still believe you're trying to make fun of me. Or do you have a twin? Not that I know of, Master Weathervane. Hey, perhaps someone was controlling my thoughts without me realizing. Now I'm sure you're trying to make fun of me. No, it is possible. Not all of the sorcerers, necromancers, and lawyers in the Shadow Army were captured, right? Okay. You look like you're training for an important battle. No, I'm reenacting your battle. How you and Captain Bonnet and Princess Ivo defeated the Arch Witch, Mortroga, in the Black Tower. So... Oh, really? It must have been the greatest battle of all time. The solitary heroes, surrounded by monsters, standing up to the leader of the Shadow Army Monkus. and her son, Monkus. Boom, bash, ja! Well, maybe it wasn't quite that dramatic. No, Ten years of war, the artifact of divine fate, and suddenly, peace. What's not dramatic about that? Oh, it's getting late. Isn't it about time you went home? I'll wait until all the guests have left the tavern. Sometimes Zloth and Blout give me a room, if no one is renting it. You don't have a real home? I've got lots of homes. Sometimes I sleep down in the tent city, and sometimes Widow Twanky lets me sleep on the bench in front of her fire. But if I can sleep in a real bed in the pub, then of course I'd prefer that. I have a small room in the school. If you can't find a bed in the guest house, you're welcome to sleep at my place. My rabbit sheep won't be able to defend his bed in his usual manner, and I can sleep on the floor. That would be... wow! But the school's in the upper town. I'm not allowed to go there. Oh, ah, silly rules. Hmm, maybe you'll win the lottery. I have a job Which job lottery? There's a lottery tomorrow. The winner gets to live in the upper town. That would be fantastic! Maybe you'll get lucky. Everyone has an equal chance. <laughs> I'm sure to win. And if not today, then perhaps next time. Please don't miss Do you know what the artifact of divine fate is? It can fulfill your every wish. I bet you wished for evil to be defeated. Right, Master Weathervane? We never used it. The Archmage warned us that the artifact was just too powerful. But if you can wish for anything, why not just wish for good things? Archmage Alistair doesn't believe the world works that way, and I trust him. Hmm, if that's what you think, then I think that too. Was good to see you again, or, or met you for the first time? There's no way I would have forgotten if I'd met you before, Master Weathervane. Nig! <laughs> Either the boy's making fun of me, or that's another item from our list of strange events. Psst, Bill! So, Petey, what? Gold can't buy happiness. As long as it's jangling in someone else's purse. Absolutely right. So, you wanted a barrel of brandy? Yes. Right. That'll be a small bag of silver. No problem, my friend. Here we go. One barrel oh, of brandy coming up. Thanks. That's it. That's the barrel with the bar. What did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. As long as you pay, I deliver. Take it. Bill didn't pay any taxes on that barrel. And those taxes build roads, care for the sick and elderly, and pay for my apple. Shield hand won't be impressed. It's a telephone when she's to take it up. Shield hand! And? Bill has delivered the marked barrel. And has therefore cheated me. Just you wait. I'm going to get the bribe money I'm due and then some. Hey! Hello? What about my exemption? Hey, Mr. Shieldhand, we had a deal. Hmm. And now Shieldhand's busy negotiating his bribe with Bill, and I'm stuck down here. Shit, yeah. Where's he? Ale myślę, że skończyłem tutaj odcinek. To było na tyle w tym odcinku. 
Dziękuję Wam bardzo za że oczywiście jest po dostawcie. Czardziesiąt czy górę. Mój las Max, pozdrawiam bardzo serdecznie i na razie.